Hey guys, it's Levix, and um, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the homebrew channel on your Wii. It's, um, it's a really cool uh, channel, it's an application where you can uh, download emulators and some tools and it's really cool stuff. It's, it's pretty sweet. I have a Game Boy and a Nintendo 64 on mine, some Guitar Hero stuff. You can play DVDs on it too. Um, so you're gonna need a couple things. A Wii, of course. I got one right there. Um, you're gonna need a laptop or a computer with uh, an SD card memory slot. Uh, you need an SD card that has FAT32 or FAT on it. I'll explain that later. All right. So um, you need to take your uh, SD card and put it in your laptop, computer, whatever like that. Alright, it's in. Alright. Alright, now get your SD card entered. Um, there's one thing that you're going to download for the homebrew channel. It's um, the Attack Me installer. I'm just going to this, and uh, I'll put a web link in the description on the right. But, um, come here and click, click here to start download. So click that. So download is starting. Start. Yeah. Get that little download. Alright, um, now that that's downloaded, you just want to open that and show it in the folder. Just go find it wherever you saved it. It should be right wherever. Alright, just go to it and extract all. Next, let that extract. It shouldn't take long at all. Alright, finish. Whatever. Here's the folder that I got. I have a readme and a hackme installer. You know, open the hackme installer and have this stuff right here. Um, now what I'm going to do is go... Uh, like drag this over to the side, open up my computer, and your SD, there's my SD. Now I already have all of the files needed, and I've added a couple from my application stuff. But um, you want this to be empty, and um, you need it to be FAT32, or um, some kind of FAT with a number beside it. You can check this by clicking, right clicking your uh, SD, and go to Form. Then you can see, uh, the capacity and everything. The system file, file system, and you go to that. I have FAT32 and there's FAT. Don't, don't, don't do this one. I uh, just go and do FAT32 or there's another number that's one too. And click start and I'll delete everything on your SD. So if you don't want that, don't do this. But um, that'll do that and then just, uh, start and then it'll close out. Everything will be gone. Open it up. As I said, I have all the stuff and a uh, couple more things, applications. So um, these four files, just select them all. And then drag them and drop them right in the root of your SD. And when that's done, uh, you can go ahead and take out your SD card and we're ready to put it in the Wii. Okay, now, now that you've done that all the stuff on the computer with the SD card and the downloading and moving files, you can go ahead and take your SD card out of your computer. So I have it here. Alright, now all you have to do is uh, just put it in your Wii but don't click it so just put it in there like that and don't click it all the way in okay then you can uh, turn on your Wii your TV of course and mine's gonna load up so give it just a second there it goes now what you wanna do is go to your we options right here and go to data management right here on the left and go to channels and then click on your SD card it says nothing's inserted now you can push your SD card in just click it in mine won't do this right now but what you want to happen yeah this is what this is what it says it says load boot uh, dot dol slash elf and you click yes and then it'll install and then um, you can load your homebrew channel I'll show you my homebrew channel first I'm gonna go back back mine's already over here there it is this is the homebrew channel it's gonna load up alright here it is I already have all these applications. As soon as you get it, um, you won't have any of these applications. It'll just be blank. And it says the homebrew channel, and you can pop little bubbles. It's kind of fun. 
Yeah, so um, the first thing you're want going to want to get is this homebrew browser. I'll teach you how to do that. So you can, uh, if you want to learn how to do that, just turn off your Wii. All right, get your SD card out and put it back in your computer. And I'll show you what to do on the computer again. All right, now what you want to do is uh, you go to this website right here. It um, I'll put a link in the description. There's a download link right here. Just click that. We're done downloading. Extract it and uh, go to the files. I file open. And then uh, go to your SD card files and find this apps file. If you don't have one, just create a new file and name it apps, all lowercase, A-P-P-S. Just open it up and go to your home browser. You should have a readme file and a homebrew browser file. Uh, take that whole file folder and uh, just drop it right in apps. And when you've done that, um, we can go back to the Wii, so just take out your SD card and go back in the Wii. Alright, now that you're, uh, you've gotten your uh, homebrew browser channel or whatever on your SD card, just uh, take your SD out like that and then insert it in your Wii. You can go ahead and click it this time. Doesn't matter. Load your Wii. And um, the boot me, which is this thing, it, um, it uh, has a selection of things you can do with your Wii. If you want to just go straight to the Wii um, browser, the thing that's already on there, you can. But to switch in between these, you press the power button again and you can select all of them. The homebrew channel right there, is, you just press reset and it goes straight to it. Alright, so this is the homebrew channel again. You should have one application at this time, which is um, this homebrew browser right here. You just click on that, you click load, and it'll go ahead and load up. Come up with this. That doesn't matter. It'll finish in a second. It'll come up the screen, don't worry, it doesn't matter. It'll keep going in a second. There it goes. Alright. So, um... You've got this, there's a whole bunch of games you can download for the Wii, they're pretty cool. And there's emulators, which is like... Uh, you have a Game Boy emulator, that's really fun, I play it sometimes. Super Nintendo, that's cool, Nintendo. You go down here, you can browse PlayStation... Um, in Nintendo 64, it's pretty tight. Your media is just like a radio. This thing right here, the MP player, if you want to play your DVDs, you download this, it works. Utilities, uh, you can serve web pages, it says that. This is like Google Earth, this Wii Earth thing, pretty cool. Um, there's a calculator, I think, and some things. Demos, just, um, just demos of some applications that are in progress I guess and hey, all these work just fine so once you got that it's all good um, thanks for watching please subscribe and uh, if you have any requests for any kind of installing downloading anything that you want me to do just let me know and I'll try to get onto it I'll make a list so um, yeah thanks again talk to you later bye